much smarter. Interesting username, but it failed to do your comment any justice because it kind of just aggravated me. You know, you won't know even point zero 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 five percent of my life from watching that video, but you were so dead set in making arrogant statements about why I chose the resolutions I chose for my problems at that particular time in my life anyway. So, I feel that limited character comment sections on YouTube aren't going to do a proper response to that any justice. I'm just going to, you know, dignify it with a video response here. You know, my life has been riddled with things I don't even talk about in a lot of videos. I didn't even bring it up in that. You know, you, you did the stupid psychoanalytical bullshit that a lot of people like to do, where they take the stigma of a person's problem and then completely remove it and just leave them and the aftermath and the vice and say, these three things are causing your problem. There is a system of progression. And for me... The dysfunctionality ever since I was a baby of my family's, you know, issues with one another caused me to be in a situation that brought depressing situations to me, honestly, on a probably daily basis, which led me to want to numb the inanity and the repetition of those scenarios. You know, you're one of these people that will just go and blindly say, well, why don't you just get the fuck out of it? Are you serious? You're going to tell that to, at the time, a kid who was like three? Really? You, you know, to be really honest, you know, my, my parents, they've been, they've been drug addicts ever since I was a kid. It's why initially I ever ended up living with my grandparents. You know, they didn't want me to fall into the trappings that their son and my mother ended up falling into because of their own poor decisions. You know, I got into abusing stupid substances when I was younger because I wanted to numb the pain of having such a failure of a family. You know, sitting here dealing with uh, my parents that are just completely dysfunctional. My dad, when I was younger, was an alcoholic on top of all of it. You know, dealing with a mother that couldn't grow out of her teens and shit. Excuse me, idiot, but these are the stigma of the depression that I was facing, and I love how that can just be completely erased out of the equation. And if people like you are under a different type of denial than I was facing, that I was really being the cause of my problems further by the guilt I was imposing myself upon having the stupid issue with drugs and all that other bullshit, I don't even live that life anymore. I don't do any of that anymore. But I love that people like you are just so dead set on guilt tripping people out of their problems that they're incapable of realizing that there is a system of progression that, of progression that people have to go through in order to end up at that point in the first place. You know, I mean, you're, you're just a fucking idiot making statements about my life and you don't even know me at all. And I think that if you really... You're, you're a person that wants to come off as... Um, psychologically knowledgeable you should really cut that kind of shit out because until you know a person's story and, and the finer details of it only then are you going to really be able to call out anything on them you know the fact that you are so callous to these issues just proves to me that you don't have really much of an emotional connection to anything you know that you you know you're another one of these people that doesn't have a face they don't have any presence on the website, but they just leave comments like that because they think that that's somehow dipping pseudo-intellectualisms into a comment field on somebody's video is, is somehow or another going to make you um, intellectually superior, and it's not. It just makes you look like an idiot. <laughs> you know, there, there are things about my life I don't talk about in a lot of videos because, you know, I'm still coming to terms with them myself. And there are things that have defined the way I've adjusted to this world and the, and the way that I've developed, you know. And I blame a lot of those situations for the way that I ended up turning out because they had quite a negative impact on my development as a human being. What, am I going to sit there forever and be completely ignorant and say, you know, I'm 100% always to blame for things other people have done to me. 
you know, the stigma exists. And yes, at the end of the day, for the stupid things that I've done, not only to myself, but to other people, you know, I have to take responsibility for those things. But I'm not going to sit there and, and, and blame myself. You know, and it's was, it was what your comment kind of reeked of, and I hope to God this was the one you were getting at. But I'm not going to sit there and, and blame myself for their problems. You know, I can blame myself for handling them like an asshole. And I've already come to terms with this, you know. You might, my, you're going to sit there and, pull my, and point myself up for my public nonsense. What are you talking about nonsense, okay? You know, nonsense is going around assuming you understand why a person does the things they do. You know, when, when my best friend died, I was so fucking broken with grief that I had to numb myself with medications, hoping to God I'd hit that magical amount one day and just overdose. That's how overcome with depression I had. Everything was just stolen from me. Every bit of light and, and every spark of just beauty in this world was taken from me. And I guess, to be honest, I mean, you, you sound like a fucking asshole when you, you're just so cold and callous on that. I mean, have you ever gone through anything like that? I mean, have you ever, have you ever really fucking done anything in your life to, uh, that's uh, stupid as a result of a massive crushing depression? You know, come on, asshole. We're just human. And sometimes we succumb to stupid, selfish fucking things. Because we don't want to wallow anymore in the suffering or the pain or the torment that life can sometimes bring. You know, you, you can't... I don't really think you can really know stuff like that until you go through it. I don't want people to have to go through these things, but you can't really understand it until it happens to you. And for a lot of motherfuckers out there, it's really easy for them to just... To just go platitude like this, like they're, they're, they're so high and mighty about everything that they want to state, like they're somehow smarter than everybody else because of their so, their, their, their passe, bland generalizations of how you should react to things. Look, I was an idiot. I'm jamming my face when I was like fucking 22 years old. I was jamming my face full of fucking pills and shit, trying to numb the pain of Everything that have just been dumped on my shoulders and things I didn't even go into in that video. And that I'm not about to go into now. But not even three years later, I'm living a completely different, much better, more productive, and much more enlightened life. Yeah, I still have my downs, but I have more ups than downs now. And I don't need to bury myself in pills. And I don't need some stupid asshole like you rubbing it in my face all the fucking time, you know. With, and I get it from more than just people like this, but rubbing it in my face, you know, that apparently getting over that and coming to terms with what had happened and getting on with my life somehow or another isn't good enough. Like, fuck you, okay? But anyway, I'm not going to turn this into a rant. I kind of didn't want to do that. But anyway, the point being is, you know, yeah, I was in a lot of denial, and I blamed at that time everything in the world for the things that were happening. And yes, there were many stigmas that led me to the decisions and the resolutions that I had chosen for that particular time. But ultimately, yeah, I'm totally aware that I'm the person who's responsible for making my life suck in those particular ways. You know, I didn't ever choose to be abused as a kid. I'd never choose to be neglected severely. Yeah, I, I love your comment about... Well, your parents didn't make as much money as you'd expected them to. Look, fucktar, they had me sitting in a crib full of goddamn garbage. At six months old, I only weighed five pounds. I was basically a walking corpse. All right? So that's a little bit more serious than saying they didn't make a lot of money. They spent all their money on heroin and alcohol. You fucking asshole. So the next time you want to go shit comments like that at someone... Maybe you should hold your fucking tongue before you know a bit about their life story. I don't think you realize what kind of examples I've had of what kind of a person not to be. And how guilty I felt falling into their similar trappings. But, whatever. You're just a fucking idiotic troll on the internet. And I really shouldn't get this worked up over it. But, you know, you know me. 
I kind of tend to be pretty hot-headed about things. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to put those two cents out there. So, hooray. <laughs> you know. Because, I, I, I mean, to be really honest, you know, I never wanted the things that had happened to me to happen to me. And a lot of people that are victimized by these types of dysfunctionalities, uh, family-wise and such, they don't ask for these stimuli to be in their life. And they wish that there were other resolutions for themselves that they could choose. Now, I'm not sympathizing with people that want to go stick a fucking needle in their arm, and I've never, ever done that, thank Christ. I didn't get that far. You know, I'm not going to sympathize with somebody that does that, but you cannot sit there and deny that there are certain stimuli that people endure that open that door for them, you know. And saying that everybody in the world should just be as passe and as blank and as fucking callous to these things as, as, as you suggest is just bullshit. You know, I mean, you need to... Just stop looking at it from that fucking bleak perspective and understand there are more sides to a story than I guess you're willing to acknowledge. For the most part. <laughs>